hello hello to all of my beautiful subscribers welcome back to my channel so i'm trying to use different decks okay to get different messages for the collective okay spirit is wanting me to use different decks okay because it's a message for everyone for every sign okay so let's see what's going on So someone could have been listening to that song, Susan. I hate you. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Or someone just don't like you. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Taurus, summer rising in North Node. Oh. <sighs> So we got darkest fears, choose your battles, and flow. Someone could be trying to stop your flow, cause you to be in fear subconsciously with all these moon cards. Or someone is in, in, in I don't know, someone subconsciously in fear. I don't fucking know what this is. Oh my gosh. Okay. Or their thoughts, someone's thoughts. Could be doing the eight town something in their head or something. Choose your battles. Your ancestors, could, your ancestors would just choose your battles. Could be all up in somebody's head right now. We got feeling alone. Okay, so you could have like isolated yourself, or you're needing to isolate yourself. Okay, to stay at an ebb and flow. To stay whole within yourself with this ten on this card. So you could be feeling whole right now. All right. With this purple one, I feel like this is two of the same energies. Someone is having to fight off dark energies, dark principalities, dark subconscious thoughts. Fear, I don't know. I don't know why I just heard be afraid, be very afraid. What the hell? Hmm. Someone could be in a very dark place or dark space in their life right now. Cause this girl with this lantern is like trying to find their way. Through the darkness. Through the shadows is what I'm hearing. And then we have shared the love. Well, all this purple is like someone is trusting more into their intuition or they're trying to. Or someone could just be blocked off intuitively. And it's because of their emotions. It's like someone is suppressing their emotions, suppressing their feelings. Someone is hiding their emotions, hiding their feelings. Someone rather just sit in depression, be alone, be by themselves. Okay? When it's like, this is the divine offering someone a chance of love or to open up their soul to love. But this person rather just sit and soak in their emotions and feelings. This person... Still holds on to some form of lack. Or they're just lacking with their emotions. Like this person wants to portray or to believe that they have a hard exterior. But they're really emotional when they're that. Let's see. So that's confirmation with the sirens. Give me more spirit. Yeah, we have Blossom. Okay. So someone can see you in this very fiery, passionate energy, okay? you can, Your energy is very strong, okay? The power that you have within you is very strong, okay? It's very bright, your aura, okay? So you build up a lot of spiritual strength within yourself, okay? You could have also been doing frequency clearances as far as your energy or your, like just cleansing your energy, okay? So you could have called your energy back from people. 
okay? You could have been giving yourself away to people too much with the share your love, okay? So people could be trying to take advantage of that because of that, okay? Or trying to keep you in fear, okay? Because you are growing, because you are blossoming. I'm kind of saying keep your friends closer, but your enemies closer. Okay. I don't know for some reason why I feel like this this was a snake on her arm. Wrapped around her arm. I don't really know what this is. But it's like one of those little braces that go around your arm. I don't know why I thought it was a snake. Okay. So you definitely got someone that's close to you. But like I said, with the saying, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Okay. All right. Let's see. You can have green on, or green could be significant to you, or you just have a lot of abundance around you, okay? And abundance can be in anything, whether it's health, wealth, being happy, being at peace, okay? Whether it could be love, loving on yourself, caring on yourself, nurturing on yourself, okay? I don't know why I got tied to the knot right here. You see how this bow is tied with these two hands? So maybe someone is thinking about tying the knot or going with the flow of their emotions and wanting to tie the knot. Okay, we got open up. So someone is definitely wanting to open up. This person is definitely going to need like 50 breaks and 50 breathers before they come to you because this person, <laughs> you make this person nervous. This could be a male or female. Take it where it resonates. So you're going to feel like your time apart from this person. So 44 could be significant. Or you just have your guys or your spiritual team around you all the time protecting you. Okay? They're consoling you as you go through whatever is causing you to be antsy or that's causing you to be nervous or to have anxiety. Okay? Because people feed off of fear. So you got to be mindful, that especially if people are in a low vibration. That's what they do. They feed all fear. When you're vibrating too high or your energy is too strong, they cannot feed or suck off you. 717 is just on the clock. We got open up and we got strengthening bonds, okay? So you could be strengthening bonds with people, places, and things or just strengthening the bond within your spiritual team and your ancestors. Like strengthening the bond more with whomever it is you believe and pray to, okay? Because they are the ones that's fighting your battles for you, your spiritual battles, okay? So that's why we have choose your battles wisely. Okay, so you can have a lot of people that's going up against you or trying to go towards you or whatever the case may be. But your spirit guides and ancestors are fighting them off. Whether it's in the subconscious because this man with these moons over their head, okay, they got a lot of fears going on in their head or something. I don't freaking know. Okay, so just take that message where it resonates. Let's see. Shh. Please excuse my background. We got giving and receiving and control. So maybe you guys are trying to control the situation or control the outcome. So that's why Spirit is saying just go with the flow. So whatever discomfort that you're feeling at this time, you just got to go with the flow. Okay? Just breathe, go with the flow, so you can detach from whatever it is, because that's all it is, is fear. You just have to go with the flow, okay? Because you have love all around you. It's out here. We got move with a heart right here. We got share the love right here, and then we have flow right here. So whatever attachments or escapisms that you're going through, Spirit is saying they're willing to give you a helping hand. They're helping you get through these dark times, these fears, these emotional uproars, okay? These these constant battles that you're having in your mindset every day, all day, okay? Because someone is willing to, someone is having to fight off I'm hearing multiple principalities, but that they caused upon themselves. I don't know what this is, man. Love, once again, at the bottom of the deck. 
So it's a lot of love and support surrounding this person, whether this is male or female. It's just these uh, energies, entities, and principalities that they're having to fight off. Now, I don't know what this Blossom card. Now, this person could have been doing some form of, I'm here, witchery, magic, or whatever the case may be to call in these energies or entities of things. Someone could be needing your help, okay? Because you you easily wore off battles that are being sent to you, okay? You can have a strong mindset. That's what I was saying in the last one that I recorded, but I'm not going to post it and upload it because the background was kind of too loud. So I'm hoping you guys can hear me clearly on this one, okay? But, um... As I was saying, as far as like you having your spiritual guys supporting you and fighting your battles for you, okay, so that's why you're needing to be alone at this time. That's why you're needing to be in hermit mode because things are being shown and revealed to you, okay? You could be in a very meditative state or you're needing to meditate in order to see things a lot more clearly, okay? You could be in this ver this energy towards the you're trying to control things or you're wanting things to go how you want it to. Okay, which can make you very much stubborn or make this person stubborn. But you definitely have a lot of spiritual protection around you. You are cloaked in spiritual protection. You see how she got this feathered coat on? On this card? Okay. I heard Archangel Raziel. So maybe you're needing to call on Archangel Raziel or look up what Archangel Raziel do. I'm pretty sure he wars all battles for you. He fights your battles for you and he brings in comfort and peace. Okay. Oh, shoot. We got helpless and hopeless. I don't know if you was feeling that feeling like that or someone is wanting you to feel that way. Okay. We got your throat, third, solar, and heart chakra. Rest and reconsider. Yeah, so some of you guys may need to meditate. Okay, or you guys have been doing a lot of meditation lately. Okay, to, I said okay. To stay at a calm and peaceful state or energy. We got spread your wings. So, spirit is saying the more you continue to spread your wings, spread your wings. What the hell? Spread your wings, the more your dreams are unfolding in front of you, okay? You could be so in tune and intertwined with the universe that the universe makes wonders happen for you. Because you see how this universe, it's like this galaxy is in this person's hand. So you could be very galactic or something about the celestial stars. Or you could actually be a celestial, but well, we all celestial beings. Let me just put it like that because I was about to sound crazy. Yes. But the more you spread your wings and free yourself from whatever these subconscious fears or thoughts is that you're having to war off or fight, these are principalities, okay? Your spirit guides are in control of the situation, so they're just wanting you to relax, take some rest, take a load off, okay? Continue to open yourself up to new ventures, new ideas, because you are gaining more spiritual strength and power, okay? So I'm going to put these up because I'm going to get into some tarot and see what messages we have from here. Okay? So you could be connecting and coming together more and more with the divine, okay? With this coming together is giving me like you are coming together more and more with your higher self. Okay, spirit guys, let's see what's going on. Okay, Taurus, I'm moon rising and north node. 
So we got the three of cups and the ten of pentacles sideways. What's this ten of pentacles? Justice. I guess people are starting to understand and realize that you're going to just continue to generate generational wealth for you, your family, or whomever. Yeah, Ace of Cups. So you could be receiving more gifts, more spiritual gifts from the universe with the Justice card. Okay, you could bring justice down to certain people, places, and things. Okay. What's this Ace of Cups? The High Priestess. Yep. Huh? So your gifts are flourishing. Your gifts are being poured out of you. Okay? It could be even things that you never even thought that you had or discovered yet. But some of you guys are still discovering some of your gifts or what your gifts are. Okay? Or how to use your gifts is what I'm getting. What's this High Priestess in the Ace of Cups? Or Taurus. Two of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. At some, okay. At times you can hold yourself back. Okay. Like, at times you could be holding back on your own gifts or hindering your own gifts. At times, you could also doubt yourself or feel as though that you're not going down the right path or heading down the right direction. But you are because the justice card is out here. As long as you stay balanced, Taurus, as long as you stay balanced, okay, the more things will work out for you and not against you, okay? So when certain things happen, it's for your highest good, okay? It's to build you, not break you. Okay, so I'm also getting, if half of these people was to go through half of the shit you didn't endure the experience spiritually, they wouldn't even make it. I'm telling you, some people would be in a crazy home. I'm, I cannot make this the fuck up. Some people will be in a mental institute because so much warfare, that, I said warfare, so much warfare that people then thrown on you to make you have a mental psychosis or to be delusional or to be psychotic or to be crazy or whatever these people, places, and things thought. They wouldn't even be able to endure that shit. That's why when we first started the message, it said, choose your battles wisely. But people won't learn that shit until it's their ass. That's why it's best to like, when you be told something the first time, it's best for you to fucking listen. Because after that, it's just... Not going to look good for you, buddy. I don't know. But yeah, all this warfare that people done sent your way to stop you, block you, physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally attack you, half of these people wouldn't even make it. I'm telling you, they will be in a fucking straitjacket. Or they have already been done killed they so far. Off. I'm just speaking the truth. They would have been done committed suicide because half of these people... They didn't even endure half of the shit that you didn't even went through. That damn nigga have made you lose your mind or made you want to give up or quit or just be done with shit. Like, people got to understand that. That's why when people be so quick to want to be in somebody else's shoes or take somebody else's place or be in somebody else's situation or predicament, it's just not for you. Because you already been tested time and time again by God, here we go, with the hair font, and by the universe that you're not set up for this this type of seat or whatever the case may be. I don't... It just gets to the point where y'all ever been so overwhelmed that at times it do get overwhelming when it comes to being spiritually attacked. Because nine times out of ten, you can't pinpoint where and who is coming from, but you know. You just don't say shit. You like one of the people that probably just sit back and observe. You could be very observing. Or you just watch. Or you just don't say shit. Or you just a listener. 
Okay? Like, it's always best to keep your spiritual ears and eyes open at all times. Because it's like the more and more these people try to block you all spiritually, the more and more they be blocked. So say, for instance, if they was to be into a situation or something was to be happening, they wouldn't even know. Because they're trying to block you all and it's blocking them all. What? So with the her find the three of pentacles, yeah. It's like who you are, okay? Spiritually, the her find the three of pentacles. This was something that was spiritually given to you before you came down here to this earth, Taurus. This this contract or whatever role you're supposed to play during this lifetime because you got to remember some of these people are extras they're like you know how they got actors in movies and they got all these other people on set that's what it is so it's like lights camera action you are the person that's in the camera and these are the actors the act the act the uh what is it the extras or people that's on the outside people that try to write the script or try to put the script together or try to add shit into the script but it would never undergo or take who you are, Taurus. Male or female. You can place this energy where it go. Masculine or feminine energy, okay? It's all energy. Because the justice scales is out here. So at times you fluctuate through your masculine energy. At times you fluctuate through your feminine energy. As you should to keep balance within yourself. When you give too much of masculinity, it becomes too dominating, too controlling. And then you misuse and abuse your authority. Your power of your position and who you're supposed to be. If you misuse and abuse your feminine energy, that's when you become too sexual. You're too promiscuous. You can't keep your sexual urges to yourself or you don't know how to, like, be that person that is supposed to be more respected and have more vor that morals and values about yourself. So, once again, it's like when we seem to want to be a get with, a tag along... I don't know why I heard free fall. I don't fucking know what that is. A three of cups. When you want to be in groups or affiliate yourself in groups and with people that don't have nothing going or don't know shit or don't know nothing. Now, I'm not going to sit up here and flex in front to y'all like I know every damn thing because I don't. I tell people daily. I tell people daily, it's still things that I'm learning and still things that I'm discovering about myself. And can y'all go in there? Thank you. And what I'm called to do. You get what I'm saying? So the more and more that I do that, of course, I have to isolate myself and remove myself and get away from certain people, places and things. But that don't mean that I be in fear that I move around, I operate in fear. Because when you operate and move into fear, that's how you're able to manifest the enemy's plot. 23, 23. So don't trip off what people is plotting and planning against you. Because when you move in fear, that's how you're able to make that shit happen quicker. But everything is going back, okay, to a pinnacles. What you do or what you cause unto, onto others is what happens to you. Okay. Like it be sometimes that or like on my journey and on my path, I be coming across people that you can look at them and you never even thought that motherfuckers would be trying to do some of the shit that they be trying to do to you or to other people. That shit is real. Seven of Swords. Plotting, planning, and setting up setups and shit with other people. Okay, could be multiple people, people in secret covenants, secret societies trying to go against you, trying to hold you back because they know nine times out of ten they can't go where you're going. So, the more that they can do is to keep trying to keep you stuck. Eight of pen, eight of swords, but you see right through the people, you see right through their ass. That's the thing. So the only way to distract you or to throw you off or to keep you 
doubting yourself or second guessing yourself or wondering if this is what you're supposed to be doing towards or this is where you're supposed to be at. You have to continue to keep doing the shimmy on these people. You have to shimmy and cha-cha slide out these motherfucking people's lives, okay? You could be dating new people or you're wanting to date new people. Or you could be just taking yourself out on dates, okay? Catering to yourself. You might be, I don't know, I heard sponsoring yourself, okay? You could just be catering more to yourself. Doing things that you love to do for yourself. Whether it's going out to eat, getting drinks. Getting your nails and feet done, getting your hair done, whatever it is, just finding time for you to nurture and love and care on yourself, Taurus, okay? With this Queen of Cups energy. And because you are this Queen of Cups energy, very compassionate, loving, and caring, and very much intuitive, this is why certain people come towards you. Because nine times out of ten, you will be thinking that these people have something to offer with this Knight of Cups. But it could be really just to take your cut, okay, and be selfish. Why you be the selfless one. Yeah, Ten of Swords and the Empress causing betrayals. And it's back to back from each end, from all areas. Two Ten of Swords. What's this Knight of Cups? Yeah, the Three of Swords in reverse. That's what I'm saying. It's like you're no longer giving your love to what you no longer can trust, see, believe, or have or don't have faith in you feel as though if you don't have faith in it it's no point of giving to it yet the knight of wands you're setting your intentions on not being hurt not wanting to be hurt not wanting to feel helpless or hopeless or in pain anymore we had those cards that came out helpless and hopeless that's this four pinnacles energy Give me more than this three of swords. Yeah, nine of swords. Causing stress, pain, worry, anxiety, fear. Keeping you mentally exhausted. Keeping you spiritually exhausted. Okay, it could be trying to like block your, your crown chakra. Block you from receiving messages. Let's see what's this three of swords. Never heard. The ace of wands. So, because you took time to heal and nurture on yourself, self-love, self-care towards, pull your energy back with this full pinnacles, okay? You could be also enjoying time with friends, okay? Meeting new friends, new partnerships, new connections, three pinnacles, three cups. So, 33 could be significant. 333 could also be significant, okay? That's because you're choosing to listen more to your higher self or trust more into your higher self. Four of Swords. What's this Ace of Wands? The Star card. Yep. Yeah, I'm telling you. Ace of Wands and the Star card. New vitality, new energy. So you could be more energized or more... Like, you just have more energy. Okay? Because... <laughs> When I mean your spirit guides and ancestors are fighting your battles for you, 28, 28, just one o'clock. That's and if you've noticed all your energy is coming back, it's because it's it's been like an energetic shift. So everybody that was attached to you or latched on to you or that was energetically taken or or whatever they was doing from you is is going back to them. And you're getting all your energy back. That's the Ace of Wands and the Star card. New vitality. That's feeling renewed, feeling reborn, feeling refreshed. A fresh start, okay? Some of you guys could have been, like, begging or... No, not begging. But some of you guys could have been praying a lot. On wanting to get these people places and things out your energy. You could have been tired, exhausted, overwhelmed, frustrated, annoyed. Tired of crying, being in sadness and sorrow. Because it's like, maybe I guess you feel like every time you take 10 steps forward, you get pushed 10 steps back. That was why on the Empress, she had the tennis wheels in front of her and the tennis wheels behind her. If y'all don't remember when I just showed y'all, okay? But that's what that is. From both ends, you take 10 steps forward and then you get 10 steps pushed back. That's how you guys are feeling. So, once again, you have to notice that 
Your ancestors and spirit guides are fighting your battles for you. You don't have to do nothing. You just sit back, relax, chill, take notes, do whatever it is that you love or enjoy and to do. Okay? Because it's about you. You guys are about to be celebrated. Some of you guys are about to go into a a higher level contract, whether it's with new love or with your business and your career. Okay? You can have people that's like in higher places than you that are watching you. Like literally. The her find the three of pentacles. So that could be another reason why people was trying to alter your position and role in life. Because the where you're going, once again, half of these people can't go where you're going. And it's gonna hurt a lot of people. It's gonna suck, Taurus. But I don't know, y'all. We had 30 minutes. Yet, some people is going to be stuck where they started and stuck where they ended. Yep, the hang one. Here we go. This is a lot of stuck, stagnant energy. So if someone was planning to come towards you and offer you something, whatever the case may be, it's like a little bit too late. This could be male, female, cat, dog. I don't care. Seven of cups. I meant the seven of swords and the nine of swords in judgment. Yeah, it's like someone is supposed to feel the same energy that they gave you. Seven of swords, nine of swords, and judgment. That's why it's always best to not cast stones where stones are not meant to be casted. Because those same stones you cast go back to you. But okay. This is your message source. Like, share, comment, as well as subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that bell notification. Peace.